Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Arduino starter set that I got off of Amazon. Uh, looks like it's by Dingmai. It was a lot cheaper than the original Arduino set uh, and it seems to come with a lot more stuff. So let's take a look. Packaging is pretty sturdy. Comes with a nice box. It looks like it comes with a lot of LEDs. Uh, some. Some potentiometers. Photoresistors. Bunch of different color LEDs. This looks like a buzzer. Yeah, it's a buzzer. and a ton of other pieces in here. It looks like it comes with a number of buzzers. Uh, the Arduino, the standard Arduino set only comes with one. It's got a lot of uh, capacitors and other little circuit pieces in here. Let's see what else it comes with. Arduino board. It's a water sensor. That could come in handy. A servo motor. A ton of resistors. And it looks like it's labeled with the resistance values on it. You got a humidity temperature sensor. This looks like a relay. A 10 amp, 125 volt relay. I've used these and I've used them with uh, 5 volt power. This looks like some sort of uh, sensor, maybe infrared. Looks like a card. It's got uh, contact information in ca case I run into trouble. Comes with a breadboard. Looks like a pretty standard breadboard. And it's bigger than the one that the original Arduino set comes with. Got a lot of a lot of connection points. like it might be an H bridge. This one's got the uh, TI logo. It's definitely an H bridge. Might be able to see that. Looks like it comes with a fresh 9 volt battery, a little motor, a ultrasonic sensor. That's definitely useful for a lot of different projects, any kind of automation, uh, autonomous cars. You got a uh, LED display, a one digit LED display. touchpad, uh, power cable for the 9 volt battery, ribbon cable, those come in handy, always using tons of tons of jumper cables, 
Come to the remote. And a power supply. Looks like a a motion detector or motion sensor. Got a piece to put on a, on the motor so you can make a fan. Looks like a standard LCD display. 16 uh, character it looks like. I'm going to have to look up what this is. Looks like some sort of board. Oh, this is the Arduino Uno that it comes with by Dingmai. And it's got a very Arduino uh, back to it. It's very nice. To look up what this is. Breadboard. Some sort of sensor. like a, a button or a switch. A CR2032 3 volt battery. That's convenient. Actually, it looks like a uh, a timer or a clock. This looks like an RFID. Yeah, it is an RFID chip. So you could add a uh, card reader to something. It's really cool. Looks like a power supply. USB cable for the Arduino. A ton of jumper cables. Those are always handy. And it comes with a little 5 volt stepper motor. That could be useful for a lot of different projects. Let's see what kind of instructions it comes with. It comes with a PDF ebook, data sheet, code, library, software, Tells you what all the uh, pieces that we just looked at are. So this guy, uh, of course, the Arduino, a stepper motor, nine volt battery, nine volt one amp adapter, prototype expansion board, stepper motor driver board, 65 jumper wire, USB cable, uh, female male jumper wires, a membrane membrane switch module power supply, rotary encoder, IR receiver, remote controller, RTC module, LCD, HCSR501, ultrasonic sensor, GY521 module, MAX7219 module, sound sensor, water lever, lever detection sensor. You could use that to make a, an automatic uh, device to fill up your pet's water bowl or even a, a pool to keep the water at a set level. 
RFID module, servo motor, uh, fan blade, and 3 volt DC motor wire, and then there's the large bread breadboard that we saw. So there's the H bridge, uh, L2930D. Don't remember what that does. You got the 5 volt relay, joystick module, one digit seg seven segment display. You got a four digit seven segment display. You got the temperature and humidity module, potentiometer. You got a buzzer, a passive buzzer, a button, tilt switch, RGB LEDs, electrolytic capacitors. You got NPN transistors. Five color LEDs, photoresistors, thermistor, 22 picofarad ceramic capacitor, another ceramic capacitor, and then a diode. They give you a number of uh, resistors in this kit. And here's a list of every piece in the kit. A lot of components. You could certainly do a lot with this. Let's take a look at this starter kit tutorial.